If you think of and you're looking at something from the side, like a fan, okay, you're not seeing down into the center. You have a point where all the petals come from. So I'm going to make a point towards the corner, and now all the petals are going to radiate from there. But they have kind of a heart-shaped top, so it's more like this shape here. So start with my center petal, my largest petal, and it kind of has a heart shape. And right next to it, but I can't see the whole petal, is another petal that kind of has a heart shape. You see how it's tucked behind? And then I have another petal, but it's going to go off the page. That's okay. It's okay if it goes off the page. And they're all connected with a little bit of a stem. Not a lot of stem. The flower, we want to take up most of the space. You don't always have to have things right in front of you to draw them. You probably have a great memory. You've eaten enough ice cream cones. You could probably try it. So let's do an ice cream cone together. Again, I want to watch my size that I don't get too much bigger than my fist or the palm of my hand so that I can keep it in here. So I'm going to start with the bottom of a ice cream cone. I think I'm going to do this style here. So I do the two sides that are the bottom. They're not exactly straight up and down. You can follow along with me. They flare out just a little bit with a curved line at the bottom. Well, there's that broader part of the cake cup that holds that giant scoop. I don't know about you, but I like a big scoop of ice cream. So I'm going to make another line, but it's going to be wider. Think of a bucket, but the top of the bucket is a little bigger. And now those two sides flare out even wider. Can you see that? Now very lightly draw in the line that would be the top of the cone. You're not going to see that because the ice cream is going to rest on there.